Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So today I am attempting again because I'm stubborn and I have to get this Dutch pour right. So I'm going to try it again and um, I'm taking a different approach here. My paints are very, very thin. Um, I'm not going to tell you to mix them like this yet until I know if it works or not. But most of the paints are mixed with, well, I'll say half of the paints are mixed with paint and water. That's it. No Floetrol, no silicone, no pouring medium, nothing. Paint and water. A couple of the paints, the two primary element colors that I'm using are mixed with polypore, water, and the uh, dry powder that you need to make them, the dry mica. And then, let me show you those two colors right now because they are gorgeous. And then a couple of paints are mixed with Floetrol, pouring medium, and water. And I will tell you which ones are which once we get started, but this is Peacock Feather. It is a brilliant color, beautiful. But you can see how watery it is. And then the other primary element I am using is called Carmen. And my God, Lord have mercy on my soul. This is a beautiful, beautiful color. It is literally a bright, it's like a bright um metallic red like a ruby red that i didn't mix good but yeah it it's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so those are the two primary elements now on the canvas what i have is white liquitex basics paint mixed with water and flow trawl The colors I'm going to be using are the two that I just showed you, along with by Arteza, Lemon Yellow, uh, Crimson Red. Now those two have Pouring Medium, Floetrol, and water mixed into them along with this Prussian blue by Grumbacher same mixture and then the rest of the colors I'm showing you have only paint and water this is pale green from Arteza pale pink from Grumbacher they're all very thin. Uh, this is Prism Violet by Liquitex. And last is, is Alzerian Crimson by Liquitex, which is a total different crimson than the Arteza. This is the Arteza and that's the Liquitex. So two different shades of that crimson. All right, here we go. I have a plan. I have Demon Dryer ready to go. And if it doesn't work, I am going to take Demon Dryer outside and run her over with my car tire and buy a new one. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh God, help me. I'm gonna just say a short prayer here quick. And I'm gonna get started. So first color I'm going with is the dark, I'm gonna work 
with the blues and the greens first. So here we go. Now I have a feeling that this board, I have to get new sticks because they're gunked up with paint and they're not really level anymore. So hopefully it'll stay on the board. So I'm gonna go with blue. I'm just gonna do a puddle pour. It's a uh, Prussian blue. My favorite blue in the whole world is Prussian blue. All right. Then I'm going to go with the peacock feather. Okay, then the pale green, which is, seems like bright green to me, but what do I know? And then I'm going to put just a little bit more of the Prussian blue on top of that. One thing I did forget to do was torch. And I hope I told you that I put a white base down, which was white paint, flow trough, and uh, water for that. I'm just kind of experimenting, that's all. All right, so up next, I'm gonna go with the reds. So I'm gonna do the Crimson Red by Arteza. We're going to sandwich in between that. The Primary Elements Carmen Red. Then... The Magenta... Actually, no, the yellow. Yellow, yellow. Now the magenta. The pale, nope, that's what I do. Violet. Odd color combo, I know. Pale pink. But I'm seeing all these artists use all these crazy color combinations and they come up with this beautiful painting. So that's what my hope is. And now here's the white. I'll show you the consistency of the white that I have. Pretty runny. All right, here we go. Let me cover, go around. This is called flooding the canvas with white. Okay, and now we take the white paint, blow it over just to color, cover the colors, and then outward to, whoosh. that is a technical term. <laughs> All right, on low. Hmm. 
Wowie. Would you look at that? You guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, <laughs> I think I did it. I think I did it. <laughs> Look at the souls. I'm so freaking happy. Oh my God. All right. All right. All right. All right. Look at them forming. Oh my God, I can't believe I did it. Now, if they stay, I will be happy. Ah! Let me give you a close up. I wish I had makeup on so I could come on camera and show you my expression. <laughs> I don't want to crack the lens. Oh my God, you guys, look at this. Wow. Wowee. And you know something? I could blow those ends out a little tiny bit, but I'm not messing with this. I'd have to be out of my mind. That is amazing. I cannot wait to resin that. Please say a prayer for me that it stays like that. I have to get it on something level right away. Wow. Okay, so my shout out today is going to go to Leslie Onstat. She's the creator of the color art pigments that you just saw me use. She has a YouTube channel and I would like to thank her for sending me the lovely pigments that she did. And uh, you can see all that, those, the primary elements, the resin art colors, all of it being used on her channel. So check her out and until next time friends i'm cutting this one short because i have to get this level this is amazing i think i can say i finally conquered on this one now i think i can move on <laughs> all right guys i want to thank you all so very much for watching all the links that you need are listed below along with coupon codes and links for uh my email paypal all that i i just treasure you all and i want to thank you so much for watching happy pouring